Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to show you how you can bypass an FRP4 Samsung Galaxy A8 that's A530. Okay, as you can see this will ask for a Google account. Yeah. Google account, pin code or username. So connect to your network and get a sim a pin pin lock sim card a pin lock sim card so push it in press next okay once you get this screen push the sim card out and press the power button at the same time So you get this, press on notification settings, press on see all, here most recent and show all, go down to the bottom YouTube, in up notifications about, then press on YouTube terms of service, accept and no thanks. Then here, as usual, we type in Android MobiTech.com. This is the website, Android MobiTech.com. Press on this one on top, at the corner, FRP bypass. So this has a fingerprint. Let's see if we can do it the menu way. This is my favorite way, actually. Um, so download this application continue if this works you don't have to add any Google account which I usually don't fancy really uh, so install with most of the new models this method works fine so lock screen fingerprint continue and set our pin code we just set up a zero then set up your fingerprint there we go continue then just complete the fingerprint setup and press done then once you've done that, you just go ahead and restart the phone. Let's see if this method has actually worked. Okay, the pin code you just set up, whatever you set it up to be. So press next, next. It will ask you for the same like Google account or pin code but the good thing is you've set up this pin code and it will take in your newly set up pin code and it will accept it as a old user in the phone okay so this is just this pin code that we set up press next if this has been set up successfully which it has now you get an option of skipping the whole procedure so yeah skip we don't need to add a Google account and accept the terms and conditions go down to the bottom okay and just wait for the finishing touches There you go, it's all set up. If you are doing this for another person, you could go to settings again. Um, screen lock or lock screen. This done. Then swipe, remove data. But if it's for yourself, you don't have to do that. 
then now you can just set up the phone and it would be all good to go thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give a new, uh, leave a like and comment below to receive new updates thank you have a good day